Oh, Ryan. Good evening. It's good to see you, my brother. As How's always. your day going? Very boring. Is it boring? Nothing good happened? Nothing good ever happens. Nothing good? What do you mean nothing good ever happens? Every day is a painful existence. Is that right? No. I just like saying emo things. Okay. Hi, everyone. Do you like to just like sit in the room in the dark and listen to My Chemical Romance and think about just how sad you are? No, I like silence. Silence? That's the most emo of all. Okay. That is the most emo. Anti-music? Yeah. Okay. I, I like it. There's a reason I'm not on a music podcast. Oh, we're going to... Should we change it? Should That's we start? We if we made do. this a music podcast, what would be the first? Um, what's the first band that comes to mind that you'd be like, okay, if I have to come in and do a music podcast, what is that song going to be about? I'm boring, so I look, I look at the lists of greatest bands of all time. I would I would say the Beatles. Oh wow, you start us off with talking about the Beatles. Why not, man? The Beatles are cool. Okay, see, I thought you were going to go Chili's, or I thought you'd talk yeah. about something like, um, some f- something funk, man. I don't know much about them though. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know much about any music, really. It's not my thing. Okay. Um, I'm can, bored. Can you move, do me a favor and let's... Uh, How shall I move for you? What, um, would, what this, would be most pleasing? Like the, I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like I can't hear you too move, well. Move me how you will. No, you got this, man. Boom. All right. I'm let me see how here. you sound that. Led Zeppelin. Yes, Travis. Oh, no, my goodness. My Thank you. Gosh, how Zeppelin. could I forget Led Zeppelin? Oh Tom's favorite goodness. band. It's my favorite. Right. Oh, I feel mm-hmm. like I've tried here getting Here comes the Led. subject change. Okay. Here comes the subject change. Thank you so much, Comic Fam. Yeah. It's, we are. It's, it's Bags and Boards show. We're, it's live. It's Wednesday. You're here with us. Shout out to some peeps here in the in the community. Who do we got joining us, Ryan? Oh, we have so many of you. Yeah, Ryan Bondi was the first person to chat. Just What's had a baby. Oh, Ryan. That's fantastic. Hey, life is awesome, Ryan. That is cool. New life is the best. So congratulations, Pretty everyone. Cool. Let's give a, a, a thumbs up to the video and a comment to grad- congratulate Ryan Bondi, the new father in the comic book community. So congratulations. Doing it. You're doing it. We also have Josh Ellis here. Man. We do. I all saw the, you. All the homies. Luis Rodriguez. Who? Luis Rodriguez. Luis Ramirez? That says Ramirez. That's, you want to know something a, funny? Okay, I just... Okay, Rodriguez is my grandpa's last name. It's Luis Rodriguez. Like, it's just like... Plus, cool. and you, yeah, and you, you guys have a lot of similar names. And I, I saw it, and I just like... It just flipped it. You know, I just like... I saw what I wanted to see. That happens. You know, that happens. But we do have a bunch of peeps here. Captain Crunch, Randy Ransnake, Alfred, um, 83 Comics, Neil Gaz is here, Rag718, Demers, all the peeps... Barbarian Kung Fu, I'm sure, is here. Oh, I see him right there, Justin Bear. All these peeps here joining us on Wednesday because they know we go live on Wednesday. So thank you so much for joining us. We have a packed show today. We also have a packed night because we got Lords on the Lawn Box that we're going to try to end in time as close to six as possible. Let's see what we can do here. We started a little bit late, but you know what? We fixed yeah, we, do. we fixed the display capture because that's the issue I was having yesterday, if you didn't know. So this thing? Well, not this thing. Whee! I'm talking about the other thing. This thing has always been working. The chat here, this yes. is the comic fan. They're joining us in the video. They must what, be here. What I'm talking about is the display capture so that when we're talking, we can bring it on the screen so they know what we're talking about. We have some stuff that's to that. chat with you about. So what... What's some stuff that we have to bring up to talk about with the comic book community? Uh, the new Spider-Man trailer. Ooh, we have the Spider-Man trailer we're going to jump into. We have some fun stuff, some some things to chat about, mm-hmm. and want to get your take on it. Maybe it'd be good right now. Um, I can probably throw this out there to the comic fam. Encourage you to put your first thoughts about Spider-Man Homecoming, um, Homecoming, Far, Far From, from Home, home um, in go. the chat box now. And we'll, we'll come back to the chat box. I want to know your thoughts on it, and we're going to dive into that first. Hopefully you've seen the trailer that dropped yesterday. And if you didn't, we're going to tell you all about um, what we have spotted, what the community has found, and we're going to, we'll, we'll get into it. But we also have some karma. We do. we got a couple of boxes. A couple not, of boxes? It's not as heavy as a week as we've had recently, which is kind of nice. We've been a little inundated with the opening comics lately, and I'm, I'm, I, for one, am glad that this should be a lighter week. Okay, well, be nice. one of these boxes I'm concerned about. Which one? I'm not, I don't want to get into it, but I'm a little worried. Is it the one? The one that says Mwahaha on it, okay, in Sharpie. I'm worried about that, but I'm especially worried because when we went to the USPS today, um, shout out Kate, the USPS uh, um, clerk behind the counter running the show. She's like, Tom, I'm a little worried about this. It says here to Tom Garcia, P.O. Box 574, Lake Stevens, 98258, prepare to be destroyed, incorporated. Interesting. That's what it said there. She read that aloud, and she was like, here you go. Are you, uh, <laughs> is everything okay? 
<laughs> do they have like a dog that they put suspicious packages in front of to, to you know pass the sniff test? So I would say that that's what we would have needed. But you know what? I said this could only be from one person. My arch nemesis. Comics for cheap. And you know what? It says right there, comics for cheap. So we do have something to open up in this video from the villain in should the community. My my villain. One package, I think, from him should make up for the amount of not packages that we are also not opening today. Well, we have another. We have a couple. But yeah. anyways, we also have something else to do, Ryan, because what do you have prepared for us? This is becoming kind of a segment on the show. A whole, a whole stack of comics. This is this is the direction I need to be moving in. There we go. <gasps> okay, you have a whole stack of comics. A it's stack. it's going to be about comics because it's Ryan's picks. That is uh, what we are calling this. We have sequence. We have Ryan's picks that we're going to be going through. You have a bunch of stuff that you've read. And we have some stuff to talk about because we're going to have a new show that we're going to be putting together for you that um, is going to meet all your ongoing monthly title needs. Uh, right. And then we have some major updates. And we, for the first time ever, are going to reveal the mystery mail call grail for February. It's going to happen for the first time in today's live show. Um, this hasn't ever been done. And the reason why is because we're nearing our one-year anniversary for the mystery mail call. We're nearing a one-year anniversary for this whole thing. This whole thing. The whole channel. Shut the, it down. The Instagram. <laughs> one year, and then we're, we're shutting the door. We're done. That's it. We were in and out. No, I'm just kidding, comic fan. We have too much to talk about. And you notice the Hulk background? What's going on? Is Sasquatch back there? What's going down? He's probably back there angrily reviewing some comics. You know what? He's actually, I know he's not back there because he won our giveaway today. He Is came he in second place, and he's getting a bonus box. That's right, because we do bonus boxes every month for the mystery mail call. So we just passed the fifteenth. We did. That's, so the announcement was why. today. Okay. He won. He's gonna get an extra box from us filled with CGC goodness and Sasquatch Anchor Middle Chew West variants. But anyway, so I know it's not him turning it green. It's gotta be Discovery Bay Comics. That's the boy. Have you been watching? Have you seen those videos? He's putting them out every single day about like what's what's on today in the comic book community. And That's pretty cool. They're pretty nifty, I gotta okay. say. So he says, my favorite show, my favorite channel. Thanks, Tom and Ryan, for all your hard work. Hashtag karma, comic karma is, let me say that one more time. Hashtag, <laughs> you know, right? If this was a, uh, a show in the studio, I'd go, okay, let's do that one more time. Can't Ryan, um, you, were, you were sitting like this. Go back to that stance. Okay. <laughs> no, but he says, hashtag comic karma is real. Hashtag YouTube comic channel guide. Correct. Hashtag Discovery Bay Comics. All right, Discovery Bay, I like to see that you're making content, my friend. And yes. Ryan approves, and I want to make sure, let's make sure that I'm subscribed to him before the end of the day, because I'm pretty sure I am, but I want to make sure, because i got to go through. Gotta Everybody go through. who's watching this should probably go subscribe to the homeboy, just just saying. Just to be safe, let's do that. And pretty you know much the what? safest thing you can do. And you know what I've been doing as of the last live show? I put up the full schedule of comic book content that I know of that's live that I endorse. That's exciting. So what we're going to do is maybe Discovery Bay may have to make that list. I don't know. I have to check out your channel. But if you are a content creator and you're making comic book content, um, notice that at the if you're watching this and you know after it's posted on YouTube, it'll be there in the description. There's a full lineup of comic book cre um, content creators. I almost said content. I almost said comic book creators. No, we're not making comic books. Not yet. Um, what we are doing is putting together content for you. And we start off. Um, every Wednesday at five -ish, ish, we shoot for a little bit around there. Um, because at six o'clock ish, because Lords of the Long Box has officially, they wait for us to finish. That's, that's not so needed, man. It's not needed, but you know what? I understand because if I was waiting for a show to go on before us, I would want to wait till the, all those individuals know after the show's done. So, right. um, we're going to do our best to finish up, but know that as soon as we're done here, you got another show to go check out, which is Lords of the Lawn Box, Tiva over there, Dr. Strange himself. He's awesome. He's chatting comics with, with all the homies over there and we'll, they would love to have you join them in that discussion. They've been doing it for years and they have a really good production for you. And then at, after that we have, who do we got? Cause it changes which YouTube channel they do it on. Oh yeah. I forgot what book they're even doing. We got week. homies, John's comics with kids as well as white whale comics. Mm -hmm. All right. Between them both, they're going to have something for you. It'll be on John's channel this week, I believe. Okay. Probably because they, they, they alternate, but we're going to make sure both of their YouTube channels are in the link and that you're followed. Because if you're following both of them, which you should be, you'll get the notification that they go live. Correct. You got to hit that bell to get the notifications. That's the way YouTube works. Exactly. So we got them there. And then we do, um, of course, we got Bueller. Bueller um, rocks the house on um, Fridays at 530. 
And then Saturday, Jem Mint just tears down the house with some statue talk and some overall great community over there, the Geminites shout out. So if you are a comic book content maker or you do anything or on a YouTube channel, let us know. Because if you do something live consistently, we can add you to this lineup so that we can kind of – we're trying to make effort to reserve spots because – the, the worst thing is to be going live and then going, wait a minute, Bueller can't make the show because he's live. Wait, that's a problem. Let's let's we can organize this. We can make that happen. We can figure this out together. And hopefully if we can go live at the right time, we won't intrude on Lords of the Lombox time. But I think I've said their name enough for the plugs, right? Probably. Ryan, Lords of Lombox looks after like, us. Looks like John's Comics to Kids is doing Black Hammer tonight Ooh, on his channel. Heck yeah. That's awesome. And notice also um, the light's still green because Joshua Sanders came in uh -huh. also with the super chat. Thank you for supporting the show, making all this possible um, for us to come to the table to start off with some Spider-Man talk. So right. um, we asked just a little bit ago, what's going on after you saw this preview? What were your first thoughts? So Ryan, what were your first thoughts without getting into specifics? Because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about. Sure. But your first reaction to the next Spider-Man film because I am so stoked. That's a that's an accurate word for me as well. I'm pretty stoked, despite what my appearance might be conveying to you all. I am I am very excited for this film. I have a soft spot for Spider Man. Strangely, okay. it's one of the few Marvel comics I get every week. I we're... have to say, guitars and comics. Mm -hmm. I think he summed it up pretty well. What's that? He says, "I'm glad they didn't try to up update Mysterio's fishbowl helmet." Yeah, I was worried because the first time you see him, he is helmetless. Yes. But by the end of the trailer, the homeboy's got the uh, got the helmet on there, and it works. My excitement I went like from, it. like, pushing 70 to as soon as I saw him without the fishbowl, I'm like, 20%, this is going to be really bad. And then I saw the fishbowl again, and I'm like, okay, I'm excited. I'm going to go watch this movie now. So that's where I'm at with it. I'm excited. We have more to talk about. But we also have Darth Bleak saying he's glad to see Nick Fury in action. Right. Me too. Like, long overdue, right? Correct. I think between this and We've Captain Marvel. We've been waiting, Marvel, man. Oh, we're going to get some really good Samuel Jackson, and we need to. He's kind of just been lurking on the sidelines this whole time. This in these movies. whole time? Yeah. Like, since the beginning. He's you pulled remember? out a gun and shot a couple things a couple times, I, I feel like. But the yeah. fact that I can't really recall any of this. Exactly. Well, um, I have to say, I'm excited about it. And a lot of peeps here in the comic fam are excited about it. Um, we have Devin Dottie who says, I'm excited for the new Spider-Man movie, though I want to want re ready to explain to my wife I why he is alive now. Oh, I wasn't. I want. Okay. I got it. He wasn't ready. Yeah. So like he, you know, what's going to happen? That's what's gonna hard. Happen? It's, that's the biggest question I think people have is the mm -hmm. timeline. When does this movie take place? That's so funny, Ryan. Why is that? Because um, what are we about to do after this um, live show finishes up? We're about to do record a record things, a, a bunch of recording, right? But we're gonna do a bunch of recording about how the timeline of Infinity Gauntlet oh, yeah. is so freaking screwy. Yeah, it's all over the place. There's mistakes. We are we are uh, neck deep in some potentially mistakey territory in the ordering of these issues right now. So we're we're just gonna go record a whole bunch at once and hopefully, hopefully they line up somehow. But. In, in actual continuity mistakes. Not like Correct. we made a mistake. Like we were about to record last week and it was just like, wait, this person's not supposed to be here. This person's not dead. This person is dead. Wait, what's going on? We this person's to... back in time. Yeah. What? Like stuff is wrong and we're going to get into it. So you're going to want to be following our gauntlet series, but I find it interesting that that is um, Devin Dottie's, uh, one of his concerns is the timeline because it is a screwy timeline. Yeah, this whole finger snap thing. It's messing everything up. Okay. Fire Ryan's Fuego Pick of the Week. Take yeah. the Snake. Yes, that's kind of a, kind of the... It's a better title. Where this is happening. Hey, hey, if you like that title, we need good segment titles. We actually have a mm -hmm. handful that are in the works. Um, I've been saying that stuff's in the works, but I hope you can see that the show is slightly improving, even if it's a... It's a little Minimal bit. Minimal improvements. Yeah, we, we hope we hope we like we hope you like us. Yeah, every week the main <laughs> improvement's gonna be we start one minute closer to our promised start time. Mm, so yeah. we got another like fifteen or so episodes to make, you know, to get back down to five minutes, because we're pretty much consistently five to ten minutes late. Yeah. Round up to fifteen, fifteen or so. so fif we can say that those were commercials that were cut out of oh, the you know. Okay, that works. That works. That's okay. It. All right. So the first thing here, I wanna um, kick us off with some comic oh no we're gonna we said we're gonna start off with homecoming right far from home 
That's a that's a constant correction you got to make. Oh this my one. gosh! Ugh. It's yes. not Homecoming too, which is yeah, it's confusing. Spider-Man: it Far From Home. I guess home is the connective thread in all of or both of these movies so far in the title. You True. Try and find some kind of thread in there. Yeah, I keep saying it wrong. It's all okay. right. Well, let's let's chat about that. Okay, so, um, comic fam, we got to take you off the screen because Sorry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about um, Spider-Man: Far From Home. Spider-Man is so far, Ryan. He is all the way over in Europe. He's nowhere near where he's supposed to be. I'm Which is home. About it. He's supposed to be home. He's a New York guy. He's a New Yorker. As they all say. That's, That's how right. Everyone talks over I'm there. I'm from New York, man. You are. You're allowed to. I'm from freaking Buffalo, New York. Shout out. All right. You know, you know what I want? I want some Mighty Taco. That's what I want. I don't know what that is. If someone knows what Mighty Taco is, I want to hit that like up. Let me know. What you, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. You know what's up. Okay. What we're going to do here is we are going to show you something something that excites me this is one of my favorite things about about the trailer all right i'm just being real i'm telling you how i feel it's very this exciting. may not this may not be the most exciting thing to you i'm super excited but it's the most exciting one of the most exciting things to me Ooh. do you see that i think so i can see it much more clearly over here on this monitor um but check this out i'm gonna make it even bigger on the that's what we're gonna do it's magic Oh, it went the opposite way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a cool picture too. It is a cool picture, but it's not the picture we're talking about. Nope. This is what happens, Ryan. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Now it's just gone. Now it's gone. It was that. a cool picture, we promise. Let's see here. Oh, they're talking about a suitcase. What was it? A suitcase? Was it a suitcase? What is it that we're talking about, Ryan? That's weird. Makes me, makes me wonder if they can't see it somehow. I don't think they can see it, Ryan. Just look at the case. Well, you know what? I shouldn't have messed with it is what is really the problem. I shouldn't have messed with it, but I let my, my gut get to me, and I said, hey, let's just make it better. Um, because That is better. It's it's uh, it's just was struggling. There we go. That's That's, that's the first thing. I like it. That is something that I'm excited about. That, I'm excited about that. What is that? Why are you excited about that? Ben Franklin's my homeboy. Benjamin Franklin? That's right. The real one or the impersonator? The real one. And actually, impersonator over the real one. That's true. I like that guy. That's right. He's saucy. He is. He's wearing a thong under there. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. That's right. Shout out to all my office piece. But no, Benjamin Franklin um, owned this suitcase. But not the Benjamin Franklin we're kind of joking about. Or the one that we're joking about because of the office. No, we're talking about Uncle Ben. Correct. Benjamin Franklin Parker. Parker. Okay, so this is the first time we've seen anything about Uncle Ben in the MCU that we know and love right now. That's a very strange thing that I just realized when we were putting this all together. This this, this year moment. is the first time you like, he's not been in any like photographs on the on the mantelpiece. Not in the even hallway. this year, man. This week. Did I say this year? Yesterday. Oh, whatever. And it is this year, but because this year's we're this 16 whole... days in, but you're giving it 16 days less excitement. This entire MCU so far has not had any Uncle Ben in it. And Spider Man's been in like four movies, and we haven't had a, a weird Uncle Ben flashback. Mm -hmm. which is a nice change of pace. And what, and what we do know is that, I mean, obviously from the last movie, but Aunt May is super young. Mm -hmm. This is a different rendition of the characters. Right. And we do have potential here for, I don't know, Uncle Ben to make the MCU in some, in some way. I mean, let's say he's dead. Let's say he's not dead. Who knows? We don't know. This is the first time we've seen anything. Maybe Uncle Ben is Jake Gyllenhaal. What? No, no, probably not. You heard actually. it here first. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking so. So anyways, um, and as we go, please let us know. I want to know your thoughts about these things that we're chatting about in the preview. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about the suitcase? What do you think about Uncle Ben as we go? And then we're going to we're gonna hype back because we're going to keep going, but we'll jump back because we want to get your feedback on what you guys think. Wow. So that's amazing. It's amazing. So the next thing we're going to talk about, the internet. The internet's a... The internet's a silly thing, man, because here's the next thing. This is another thing I'm I'm pumped about. I don't know if I should be pumped. I don't know, Ryan. Are you pumped about it? Oh, my gosh. I'm pumped, that? but I think my... Oh, wow. I wonder what happens when that happens. That's cool. I don't know, man. It says that we're... I mean, we still have the community there. I Did don't know. Did you guys... I don't know what happened uh, there. Are they there? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. What happened back? is Kings of Golden State rocked the house and just like shut down our internet, I think is what happened because he just did a, 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 a super chat. That must be what happened. Um, let us know what just happened there. 
Um, we're back. Okay, we're back. We're good. We got snapped. Yeah, we got snapped. We just got snapped, and we're back. And we, it's good to know that if the stream is still live, it, we're still live. All right, we're going through it. Um, I have no idea how that happened. We're but. sitting in front of a camera. I'm assuming we're always being recorded. Okay, so this is... <laughs> All right, look at this. Oh, look at that guy. Okay, that's... so that's cool. Stealth cop. That's a stealth or, um, stealth costume, kind of. Spider-Man Noir is hot right now. Yeah, it, but this isn't Spider-Man Noir. You don't think so? No, this he's is all, this he's is dressed in all black. He is in all black, but it's a, and it's a stealth costume. It's not the alternate universe character, so yeah, I guess that's true. Exactly. I guess yeah. if it was the alternate universe character, then maybe, maybe this would be a more pivotal I hope thing to not, happen. They but. shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, don't don't be Spider-Man Noir, please. No, 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 no. This do their own thing, and I like that we're seeing new costumes. We saw a handful of new costumes in this. What do you think he's using it for? I think that he's got to do. Okay, so actually, let's get into this. Let's get into it. Um and. Um, just a reminder, let us know in the chat um, what you think about these scenes as we go through them. We may or may not disappear from the stream, but we're going to talk about it. We may or may and not we're going to just keep on rolling. Human. We might be lizard people. Oh. What if we are lizard people? What, what do you mean? Would you even mind? Would you know? Lizard people as in... Uh, okay, I'm digging this. Okay, here we go. Look who oh, it is. Look who it is. Let's chat about this guy. Okay. He's not lizard. Lizard is not going to be in this. No, been there, done that. Okay, so let's chat about what we do now. And I want to know what the comic fam thinks about all of these things. Because we do have a uh, number of things that happened in this in this trailer that we're able to now look back on and reflect and see what we maybe we can expect from the MCU and what they're going to be dishing out to us in this coming movie. Mysterio is the subject of this conversation, of course. Yep. Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, by the way, looking, I think, pretty good. Um, I mean, there he is. Okay, Jake Gyllenhaal. His armor's awesome. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the fact that he's got the cape. They stuck to the color scheme. Look at this, right there. Those bracelets. Mm -hmm. It's like a. It, that's a thing. He's got these like cube-looking bracelets. I don't even know like you know how to describe it, but this is a. A very good rendition. I mean, it's look at the the little uh, lapel, the little, the little eye clasp thingies. He's exactly, got. exactly. I mean, it's he looks good. Um, I think this is gonna go over well. And I if, became a enormous fan of Jay Gyllenhaal after watching Nightcrawler on Netflix okay. a while ago. He has incredible potential for a unhinged performance and I am, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does here okay so this is let's let's kind of get into this because we we see a couple things here and I'm gonna wrap this all back because Mysterio we're gonna get into it we're gonna we're gonna chat about the fishbowl and and his place in here but we have more villains to talk about okay yeah. so um first off what do you guys think about the costume let us know about that and um, Ryan, while I get this prepared, can you go through the, the, the comment section? I want to hear from the comic fam what they think about Jake Gyllenhaal as well as the suit and stuff. How do we know you are live? Well, we are live. Are we? I'm, maybe, I, I maybe, know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're, we're not. Maybe this is all in my head. And maybe, maybe this, died. all this, maybe our channel, maybe this doesn't exist. This entire year has just been a coma dream. Maybe I've just been in my house and I'm just crazy. <laughs> How, how sad would that be? Like Jessica Cruz, just trapped in your own house and nobody nobody yeah. even knows you're in here? Exactly. That'd be awesome. Oh, that'd be also so sad. Also really sad, but awesome. It'd be really sad. Okay, thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. You really did a, you did what I was hoping you'd do. I, I try. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm a people you, pleaser. You are. Oh, I'm digging this. Okay, digging so what else? What else? I, uh, comic fam. Oh, Bring comic, up the comic fam. Comic talk fam. To the, what do they think about this, Ryan? What do you think about this, comic fam? Where are you? Maybe his suit was at the cleaners. There we go. He appears to have left his suit behind on his field trip, which seems like a mistake. Who, who said that? Oh, who did say that? Old Wolf, 65. Maybe Ooh, his suit okay. was at the cleaners. What else? Let's see. What is he, Mysterio? He looks good even better with the fishbowl. Stay puff. I agree. Oh, yeah. We do. We, I don't know if we have that shot of him with the, with the fishbowl on at the end doing the magic, but he looks very cool, and I'm very interested to see how they handle the... Uh, questionable skills he may or may not actually have this is interesting I'm, okay i'm very interested to hear what we think about this okay so this is a nice little rendition here so what do we got what do we got okay so we have these elemental villains that have graced the screen 
we have three of them. Now, you're going to notice here we have very poor shots of them. And we have characters that are been photoshopped above for a reason. Right. We, we don't know. We have reason to believe that these characters are certain characters, but we don't know. Now, the first is this molten looking character. Mysterio appears to be engaging with some sort of elemental beings in the trailer. There's like a being made of fire, water, and like sand, earth stuff. And there's been some speculation that these characters in the film are characters from the comic books who have ties to these elemental forces like sand and water and fire. Now, first off, there's a couple things to note about this is that we have been talking about this particular elemental uh, right. villain, Hydro Man, because we know from earlier, actually, I keep saying early because we're in a new year, but late last year mm -hmm. when it was, um, when we have that Tom Holland live stream on Instagram showing what a lot of people thought may be a hydro cannon, this elemental creature, and I think we actually see it in the in this uh, trailer. Um, I think it's that exact scene, Tom Holland getting uh, blasted by bridge. some type of water on the bridge. Exactly. So that led people to believe that it was um, hydro man, that this has to be a hydro man appearance. That's, that's what this has to mean, right? Okay. Know. We don't know yet. Now, we have these three... Um, elemental creatures and let's take a quick little look at them and there's a couple that i want to um, highlight here so we have this first one here and then sandman of course that's the easy one we don't even have to really get into that obviously it's a big elemental creature that's sand so that's the one that kind of makes me think this isn't real the sandman one is the one that seals the deal because if if you're going to put sandman in your movie you don't make him what appears to be kind of a throwaway one true. battle kind of character like this that's very true that's actually how i feel um and we're going to dive into that a little bit deeper here. But we also have, you know, Hydro Man here. So um, what what do you think, comic fam? What do you think about these um, characters? And Ryan, if you'd be so kind while I get this going, just let let me let them uh, be yeah, the voice for the comic watch fam. the trailer, there's the part with the boat where you clearly see ASN 212 on the bow of the boat. Joseph Layfield. I spotted that in the trailer, thanks to this guy. Posted something about that yesterday. But I think that might be a, a red herring. Okay. I don't know. I'm hoping that Sony learned their lesson from 10 years ago with Spider-Man 3 about cramming too many villains into one film. Okay, so over at Comic Tom 101, that's my Instagram page, um, I posted some things, but I got to actually back up and give um, Key Collector Comics. That's it. All right, because um, Key Collector is actually who notified me about this because you know Nick over there is doing some crazy stuff um, documenting the co the 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 collectible markets uh, media coverage here now officially we have on the back of the boat asm 212 now asm 212 is the first appearance of hydra man and all right is this a troll i don't know i i'm betting it is all right but here's the thing so this is this is something that was picked up by a lot of people but again kudos goes out to nick because he was able to source this next one this is something that wasn't picked up by emergency awesome this is something that wasn't picked up by ign this is something that wasn't picked up by most of the community this one is blatant asm 212 Feels you type that in on ebay you're gonna get that it, it does i think it is too blatant all right so that's gonna be um the first one however take a look at this other one that i posted soon after courtesy of you know who nick over at key collector we have molten man why molten man because on the back of this car that is uh, presumably in europe somewhere we have a date on the back of the car two two eight six five september why that date well what was published september 1965 spider-man spider-man Issue number 52. All right. Boom. Take a look at it. First appearance of Molten Man. Um, is this... It's, it's 52, right? Oh, shoot. Did I just say that wrong? It may not be 52. I think it's 52. Shoot. No idea. It is, I believe it's 52. I'm going to double check that right now in this moment because I do not want this to be on the internet forever. Me saying the wrong comic book. Um, ASM 52. This is, a, this is a rabbit hole. No, we'll be so quick. It's not 52. No. See? It's good that I did it. What's first Molten Man? Help me out. 28. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, it's way earlier, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That, it didn't feel right when I said it. ASM 28. Okay. See? We're going to make sure we're accurate here. ASM issue number 28. And then 
Boom. So we have another red herring, another... He's either making these elementals to fight and prove to the world that he is a hero, or they're actually some kind of elemental creatures oh, or these characters. Okay, why would you say that, though? So they just, just pull that Mysterio's out. got a, a history of Ooh. setting up things. Okay, hold up. What? He's got a history of what? Setting up things? It's a whole thing. Explain He's, it. Explain yourself, Ryan. What are you talking about? He got started, like, dressing up as Spider-Man and committing, like, petty crimes. In the comics. To, like, yeah, yeah. Trying to, trying to make Spider-Man look bad. Okay. So... This wouldn't be a stretch to think that maybe he's using his illusions to conjure up some sort of weird element monsters, which is a pretty basic idea, I feel like. That would be Ooh. something somebody could think of to create a, I don't know, kind of a paper foe to strike down and then brag to everybody else that he's saving the day. Okay, interesting. So... I think that's interesting because I do know that the only thing Jake Gyllenhaal has mentioned about his character is that his character has something, a key connection to being able to stop these elemental creatures. Sure. So if what you're saying is true, that would make sense. I would actually all fall in line that he's using these creatures in some way that he's maybe controlling them and, you know, trying to get maybe some type of recognition for stopping them. Who knows? But this... There's got to be more to the movie than this also. Mm -hmm. this It can't just be a fight about Mysterio and some weird elemental creep. There's got to be more, like a whole separate plot to the film about Nick Fury and, and the sequel to the Avengers. Like, there's, there's a whole bunch of other plates up in the air. Like, it can't just be this Mysterio stuff. Okay. So... We don't know. We don't know, but this is what we what we found out. First trailer. Um, my 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 gut reaction is that this is not Molten Man, and that this is um, not Hydra Man. That's my gut so. reaction, even though it's literally in our face that it that it is. Like we have characters that are. I think legit. it's a fake out. I think it's a fake out, That's and they're known I'm... to do stuff. I mean, you know, we definitely don't know, but we're excited to find out, and I'm stoked about the new movie. Me too. All right. Let's open a box. Let's open a box. What's in the box? Yeah, Lord's Lung Box is doing far from home too, so that'll be fun. All right. Ooh. Let me read that one. Ooh, a laugh. A laugh. Oh, snap. Oh. It's got a whole thing on the back. That is <laughs> what awesome. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's too he cool. did the logo. That's that's too cool. Look at that. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this. This is cool. In this issue, Comic Time 101 conquers bags and boards live. Be sure to geek responsibly. What does that say on there? MMC approved, section one ops. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Um, can you can you bring it up on here for me? That is so cool. Can I? I can do it. What am I doing? Let here, I'm gonna bring it up on the screen. Yeah, you read that while I do that. Hey guys. Thanks for a great show. My fiance and I watch all the shows as soon as they hit YouTube. Good call. Here's a little something for the wall. Hope you like it. I wanted to give back to the comic community. Thanks for all you do and wishing you all the best for 2019. P.S. Any similarities to this book are purely coincidental and fully fictional. Instagram, Tony at Section 1 Ops. Okay. That's not that guy. That's not that Tony. Guy. Oh, this is not Section oh. 1 Ops. Uh, section, that's Secret Comics. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're cool, too. I'm sure they are. Section. There we go. Section 1 Ops. Right up there. Oh, I'm already following him. Perfect. Me Boom. too. He's a homie. Section 1 Ops. Thank you so much. What is got this? Some skills. What is this? I'm enjoying this. I can't see it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Much better. Adult Swim. What is this? Ryan, you, you know this better than I do. Do I? I'm not very familiar with Adult Swim. Is this something that I should know? It's beneath me. What is this? Comic Fam, help me out. What is that? No clue. I don't know what it is. It's a shirt. It's a shirt, though. So that's cool. All right. I'm still pumped on this drawing. That's that's the greatest. What do we Ooh. got here? Ooh, okay. It's a little juicy. Here. All right. He's sending some comic book karma to the comic fam. So you know we're gonna be doing some giveaways here. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got. The glare, the dreaded glare. The best. Of every comic book content creator. Here, you wanna take this sack? Sure. A certificate of Authenticity. Oh, That's look at glorious. this. Oh, this is signed by Mark Wade. Look at that. This is signed by Barack Obama. <laughs> Can he has, do that? <laughs> has he done that before? Has every publicist ever done has, that? Has Barack, signed, um, Barack Obama signed any um, comic books that we know of? That could be a cool book to get. This one right here signed by, uh, by Barack Obama. Signed by Mark Wade. 
whole nice X Men. Look at this. You know we'd be getting some X Men, um, twenty ninety nine for a reason. It's hot, and we've been, we've been uh, chatting about it a bunch. We got X Force. Oh, look at this. This is actually really cool. This is a really good issue. Um, isn't this the? Uh, I believe this is the issue where the the color work is all screwy, Louie. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is a cool book. All right. So this is something fun that you guys may not know. Um, this particular book, um, X Force number four. Um, first thing that you have to point out is the centerfold, I believe is a Mignola cover, am I wrong? I could be wrong about that. Let me see here. Is it a Mignola cover? It's not a Mignola cover. This is not the Mignola cover, but what it is is a great example of how um, when you provide the wrong um, color, what is it? Like when you, when they, back when they would do the color direction, they have a, a list, like a number sheet, and they'd say, all right, this is all going to be red what number is that red? And they would give that information to the printer so that they can print it and then they see what it looks like. But what happened is when they made, um, I think it was Rob, I, I'm not sure who's to blame for this, but when this actually went to the printing um, to be colored, it was off by a, a couple shades. Like they, they went too far one way and all the color work is messed up. This is not what it was supposed to look like. And as you can see, this cable, is like i mean just look at it he's like pink and yellow and and all this it hurts um but what happened is people thought this was experimental they're like whoa they're getting super creative i mean look at these characters the suits are all like some of the suits are right but um some of the pages are just they're wacky um take a look at this one here this one's a pretty good one like their suits are wrong um it's bluer than it should be it's red in areas it shouldn't be and the yellow and the it just you would think like, oh, maybe they're just getting creative. No, this was actually a mistake and it went to press. But anyways, very cool book. Where are we? Where are we? You're... Neil Adams? Neil Adams? Whoa. What the certificate says. Let me see here. This was signed by Neil Adams. What it says. Holy smokes. He sent in some really good karma. Dang. He done good. He sent that Neil Adams. You already showed all these? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Alpha. This is good right here. Look at that minor key. That's a cool book. Dang, you sent that Neil Adams? That's nuts, man. I dig it. Oh, this is awesome, too. This is uh, one of my, my first books that I purchased myself. That's been hanging on the uh, Like, box. to get back into collecting. I mean, I've bought a lot of comic books, but that was, like, that, that was one of the first ones. Um, Shatterstar card over in the X-Force number one. Still polybagged. Wow. Some very cool comic book karma. All right, what should we like give it. away? I think we should be giving away... Um, we got to give away something cool here. We have, which one? What do you think? What are you feeling, Ryan? You're going to give away a signature, man. That's, do you want to do this that's one? That's too cool, right? I think we should do this one. Let's do it. You want to give away this Neil Adams signature? Either way. Let's give it out. All right. This is how we're going to do this. We're going to do a quick little giveaway. Um, let's put this aside. Boom. Boom. Let's get this got up. We got to hightail it. We got we to gotta do we Ryan's got, picks. We have no time. We got no time. We also got another box to open. We need to oh have my it before. It's okay. We're, gonna, we're already running a little late, so mm -hmm. we're just warning you. We're going to run a little late today, but we do have things in place to not have that happen again. All right. So we're going to do one giveaway here. Cool. This giveaway, we do it with participation. Um, the first thing is we got to take a picture. Ryan. Uh, oh, that's a terrible. Fun. Nope. Uh, that's okay. not nice. Hey. Nope. Okay. Uh, terrible picture, but Beautiful. this right here is Neil Adams um, signed this book. So what we're going to do here is, Ryan, give me the first word. Oh, bamboo. 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 Thank bamboo. You, okay. We got bamboo Wally gobbled. Of course, I got to say, I mean, that's a really good, that's a really good word. What, what does Wally gobbled mean? I don't think that's a real word. But Caleb is, is directing this entire thing so far. So that's, that's, that's he's awesome. Caleb's a homie because he's like, I already know what's going on. They're taking pictures posted on Instagram. I need to type out Wally Gobble. Let's type in some silly words. That's that's exactly what went through his head there. And I, I do appreciate that's them. That's how it works. Oozing. Demers. What What's oozing? I need to know bamboo Wally Gobble. Like, what is oozing? We need a subject. What are we? We, we need a subject. Some, we, we need a subject. verbs and adjectives. Yeah, we have verbs. Let's play Mad Libs, you guys. Here we go. Platypus. There we go. Let's do it. So the platypus. I want to 
click this button, but I think if I click this button, I will end the whole thing. Don't do that. Is it this button? Uh, it's not this button. Oh, boy. Boom. That's the button. Okay, so we're going to go here. Shut it down. What was the platypus? Yeah. Sure. I haven't said the word platypus very like very recently. How do you spell platypus? P L A T Y? P U S. Correct. Well done. Can't believe I got that right. So, um, bamboo. Read that. Bamboo Wally gobbled the platypus. All right. Thank you so much That's to the, the comic magic fam. Um, you, basically, the way that we do this is we do a random winner by going through all those who actually writes, takes the time to go to the Instagram page, Comic Time 101, go to the post I just made, and comment saying the phrase. And you know what? Next week, we're going to do a giveaway, and we're going to send out this karma. It's this... Batman Odyssey signed by Neil Adams. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. Is this an appropriate time to I think so. announce the winners from last week? Okay, so last week, we had a couple of people who did just that, didn't they? Like... Legit, they just did what we're talking about. Hmm. They went to the strangely worded picture that we posted on last week's live show. Okay. And they're winning what we gave away last week. We have Keymaster Comics, who's going to be winning um, this stack of books right here. We have Catwoman, one through four. This is the giveaway from last week, the karma that was uh, being provided. We have one through four, the full set, as well as this gorgeous copy of Action Comics 104, this blue, ooh, shiny goodness. 1,004. 1,004. Yeah, it's not 104. Two zeros in there. Two zeros, absolutely. All right, and then the next person. Those are going to Keymaster Comics. Uh-huh. And these next two. Who, what's the next? Who's they're the next not going person? to Section 1. They're going to, ah, uh, where'd they go? We took them down. We took them down. Oh, looks like they're going to the fire guy. Who was it? I'm just kidding. Shoot. That would be too funny. Did I really just? We probably just clicked off of their name. Did we click off their name? Probably. We didn't write it down? You wrote it down, didn't you? I wrote it down, but I think we picked a different person. Did we? Yep. We nope, that, nope, nope, that nope. was it. We picked a different nope, guy. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I think that was it. Okay. Right? I thought we decided to pick a different person for some That reason, person? For reasons. You sure? Yes. That person? Yeah. I think that was the person. Try it. Type it in, man. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, Ryan, are you coming to California with Tom and Jeff next week? I am not. Nope. I am but not. I'm going there. I can't do anything on short notice. This is this is so good. Oh. Who is this? Dark Dark Helmet 09. That's who it is. Hunting them back in. <laughs> uh, that's too good. Dark Helmet 09. No posts yet, but he's participating and he's there. That counts. All right, and what is he getting? What do we got? Uh well, no, this is backwards. <laughs> there we <laughs> go. I'll get used to this camera. What is this? Action Comics 1001? 1001. Look at 1001. Me. David Mack variant because that guy can do no wrong. Sure can't. And I think this is Marvel Knights. Black although, Panther goodness. Although I'm not 100% sure. Awesome. All right. So that's how we roll. Um, sorry about the, the wacky show here. We're, some of the stuff we have prepared and then just, just, just doesn't work. But you know what? We're going to keep rolling with it. Uh, it's hard to do it, but you know what? We got it. We got the giveaways here. We're going to put these aside. Hit so us we up don't and lose we'll them. give them out. Yes. We're going to be um, in the description. You have our email to get in touch with us. So um, let's. All right. Just leave it. <laughs> let's keep on going. There all right. Go. So we got um, <laughs> Ryan dropped one of them. Okay. okay. So um, it's going to still be nice though. <laughs> Ryan, this guy. <laughs> if it was the David Mack variant, I can replace that. From no, my it's collection. not. I see it over there. It's okay. Let's open, let's open our villainous package. Do it. I am, I am very interested to see what kind of anthrax is going to come out of this package. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's I'll see let what you he's... open it first, and I'll breathe over this way. To the side. <laughs> Dude, don't give him ideas, man. <laughs> That's okay. Don't get me worried over there. He doesn't need ideas. He's evil. Euler drops comics every day. That's That's comforting in a weird way that should not be comforting. What do we got in here? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh uh, no. I think he packages it super strongly. He does this for a reason. There, there you go. He does it for a reason. Because he knows. He knows. He knows I'm going to be doing it on camera. This is why he uh, is the villain. All of this stuff is super sealed. All do you right. have to open that? Is uh, there, a yeah. Hole? You have to, he may, he's making me open. This guy. This guy. 
That's his guy. All right. Uh-oh. Have at it. This is a whole... I have to get to this. This sealed shrink wrap. It's basically in a condom. It's protection. It's you protected. Know, you learn from you, man. You got to seal it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> I, meant, I meant the comics. You know, they're, they're surviving under like 16 feet of snow or whatever. Yeah, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what you meant. Wrap it up tightly. Wrap it up super tight. <laughs> so nothing gets in there. My, oh, my. There's like seven layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you All got right. us again. This sly dag. All right. What's going on? Comic Tom. Fire guy, Ryan. No, 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 no. That's not how he sounds. <clears throat> Ryan, do it right. Hold on, let's do it right. I need epic music. It's gonna be worth it. Villain, what is it? Vil villain music? <laughs> what, what is this? This is just gonna I be some. Know. It's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna find some. Fucking Little Mermaid. Like Mordor music. or something. Powerful, dark, epic music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> this, this is, is just why I terrible. Hate music. Uh, hey, it's Thanos. <laughs> All right. Con continue, Ryan. Comic Tom, Fire Guy Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it in his voice. He's got a he's got a really good oh emo God, voice. That's so funny. Oh, you're good. Yeah, Kitty Sacks. No, that's, do it, do it, do it, do it like here. in your in your uh, creepy voice. You're good. Comic Tom, Fire Guy Ryan, and anyone else foolish enough to associate themselves with you, we meet again. To my chagrin, I see you have grown even more since my last letter fell upon your gnarled hands. Tragic, yes, but your fate grows exponentially closer with every passing day. Let us recap our interactions since that first fateful night you unveiled at the beginning of your downfall, shall we? You and your asinine aggregation went on to discuss me with more than a hint of fear on multiple occasions. You mocked my packaging styles. You claimed I was a nobody, yet included me in your year-end review. You initiated my rage and sent snide, slanderous slams via Instagram. I even tried to reach out to you, and my efforts went ignored. So now... I shall see to it that my evil villain and his ways are taken more seriously. Ah! I'm scared. I shall okay. talk less I'm and okay. take more action. <laughs> Prepare to lose everything you hold dear to you, Comic Tom, starting with your fans, collocating to your sidekick, and culminating with your precious mail call. <laughs> it, it says evil laugh. I'm, that's, uh, I gave it my best. There you go. No, Ryan, more evil. Comic Zombie says creepier, Ryan. That's what it says right here. No, Ryan, <laughs> more evil. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Ryan, we worked on this. Anyways, in the meantime... You may have noticed a few comic books included in this package. Since you always like to start shh, I sent you a bunch of number one issues. Pass them along while you still can, but make sure you constantly look over your shoulder on the way to the mailbox. Yours in all villainy, comics for cheap. Wow. Can we get a like for Ryan there? Uh, that was, uh, that's, I appreciate you doing that, Ryan. That was too good. All right, comics for cheap. Woo! Black Order. And we have Avengers. Logan. Batman Who Laughs. These are new comics. These aren't cheap, man. These are so evil. These are not new. These are new. These aren't cheap, so. Despite what his name would have you believe. The Witching Hour. Ooh. Number one. A bunch of number ones. Ooh. Winter Soldier number one. Ooh, we know what I got to look in there for there. Feisty. Look at looking in that for something special. Batman. Secret Files number one. Heroes in Crisis number one. Classy move. Good call. Miles Morales number one. Isn't that brand This music. We got to change it. This. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pearl. Should do this every time. What if this was the, what's the, what if this was a show? Tom. Yeah, comic. Hey, comic fam, <laughs> welcome. Broadcasting from the underground <laughs> dungeon yet again. Uh, oh my gosh, just like just crazy double bass mm. the whole video. All right, back back to reality. This is too back. That was an abrupt change. It's a little bit, but it's okay. We're rolling with it. Okay. Holy smokes! What? Well what done, a sir. great community. That's cool. Um, I know I'm supposed to be mad at, at the villain, but the villain just did such awesome comic book karma. And thank you so much for the laughs. We do appreciate you out there. Um, I'm expecting a YouTube channel at some point so we can start doing content. So let's make that happen. Gotta be something. But you know what, comic fam? We have some updates. Um, and we do have more stuff to do. Um, I'm thinking what we're going to do is probably a separate live video um, for the comic book, um, for Ryan's polls. Because we, we need, gotta do something. We, we got to do something. And we're going to need to do it. ASAP because we're building a, a new show that we got to talk about. But I also want to respect Lords of the Longbox's time today. Correct. So we're going to do it on a separate video. You're going to be here on Sunday. Probably You're going to be gonna, here. So we're probably going to go live too. Well, let's just go live on Sunday. So we'll do it then. But we do have Why some not? updates and we do have an, a huge announcement. So um, oh, I completely forgot about the huge just, announcement. Yeah, we have a huge announcement. Uh, it's, it's very where'd big. It, where'd it go? It's not giant size. 
but it's very large. It's actually larger than giant size, maybe. It, it depends the perspective. It's all about perspective. Okay, first off, right now. first off, we have some big news about the mystery mail call. The first big news, if you're if you're new. So first off, shout out to 117 plus people joining us for today's live show. We do appreciate you. Um, thank you for joining us. We do this every Wednesday and more. But the first big news for the mystery mail call, the subscription service, where if you hit the link below, you can join up right now. We are taking enrollment for February. The mystery mail call, we have changed our shipping. Correct. We are going to be paying more money to package the, the comic books in a different way, in a safe way. You're still going to get nothing's different on your end. However, you're going to get your comic books sooner. That's the first big announcement. Um, we're right. going to be upgrading our shipping times so that you're going to be receiving your comic books sooner. Um, it's something that we've been working towards and we're finally able to do it. So that's the first thing. The second thing, because we are changing our shipping times as of right now, today, like as soon as we hit live, right before that, like minutes before that. It's already done. It's done. You, If you're international, you can sign up for the mystery mail call. What? That's it. Go to the site, geekstreet101.com. Links what? in the bio. International is open for February and indefinitely. So if you want to help support the podcast from overseas, we will get you your comic books mailed out. All right? Now, the shipping is going to be rough. We know that. You knew that. You want it. If you're, But if you want it, right? it's there. If you want a shot. The option exists. It's there. And you can sign up monthly. Geekstreet101.com. Boom, 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 boom. It's awesome. It took us a year, which, by the way, it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. February marks one year that we started this. We started this off in February with 25 people. 25 people who only knew us from Instagram. We did not have any videos out. Weird. And we were just making fun content on Instagram. And we had this idea to put this together and thought, hey, what if we made the hunt our job? What if we made the finding awesome comic books for the comic book community? And, and documenting the process and getting them out into their hands at a, at a better rate than what we could sell them on eBay. Like, like get them stuff cheaper, cheaper. Makes sense. You know, and provide that in one box that we can ship out monthly. And that's what we did. And we started with 25 people and we've exceeded 400 and we did that in a year. So thank like you that. so much to the comic book community who gave us a shot to do something cool. We are we have a, an awesome job now, which is to find awesome comic books for you. And you can sign up now. February is open. And something we, d we do, and I just want to, I know it's a little bit of a plug, but it's an announcement because this, this is a one year, right? What's the plug? What's the plug? The plug is that it's happening right now, that you oh. can enroll into February. Um, do you remember what our grail was for last month? Pop quiz. No. ASM. Punisher. 129. It was the Punisher issue. That's right. That's we right. have an ASM 129 out. It's going out to someone in, in January. No one's right. posted it yet, so Come on. I'm hoping to see it on Instagram. We want to see it. We have about a third of the members posting their stuff on Instagram. Not everybody is on Instagram, but I'm excited to see it when it lands if someone does post it. But right now, we're going to announce the one-year I mean, it's been one year. Right. Go big or go home, right? You're, you're pumping it up. I want to see what it is. Go big or go home. Go home. Go home? Oh, I'll go home. Right? I'll, I'll pass on that one for somebody else who, who, would, prefer, who would prefer this. I want to know. This is an awesome book. What do you think? Even though uh, this is the debut of my least favorite character in Marvel. Probably. All right. That's what but it's about. Holy moly. I need to look at it, though. All right. That's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to send this out. It's a gorgeous book. It has the stamp. It's a it's a, it's a a nice copy. It's mm. a grade-worthy copy. Mm. This is a copy that mm. is going to need to get graded. And if it isn't a grail that you want, I really, really hope that you sell it and you make the money off of it and put it towards the grail that you do want or pay your rent, whatever you want to do. We do appreciate you for helping us create this community the way we, the way that it is. So we can go out and find books like this and more to send out to the comic book community where we could put this online. We can sell it on eBay. We put an auction, have it That's sold so tonight, fun. but no. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to send this out in a mystery mail call, and we're going to open up to everybody to participate. You're still going to get awesome books in your box no matter what, but this is going to go out there randomly along with a hell of a lot of other cool books. Excited. I, If you would have told me you're going to give a Hulk 181 away last year in February, I would have thought, how the hell would I do that? That doesn't make sense. How would that even make sense financially? Like, I would, what, just don't pay my mortgage one month? Is that how that makes sense? That makes sense. You can do that. But okay, you know what? The community is strong. The community is strong and made this happen. So thank you. Thank you. Um, shout out to, to Russ at Mill Geek, 
who hunted this copy down for me. He called me up one day and said, Tom, I have a lead on a Hulk 181, but you're going to have to buy a lot more than that if you're going to want to get this. Got a hot lead. But I got a lead on it. Do you want it? you think the comic fan will like it? And I'm like, hell yeah, dude. We got to do it. We got to. I, I, got, I won't be able to sleep at night if I don't get that book. So we got Chill. it. So I've been holding on to this for a few months now for February. It's here. Link in the bio to sign up. You got time to sign up. Open enrollments right now. They'll join the community. We're sending this out. We do appreciate you. Um, shout out to the hey. Super Chat. Making it green. We got to wrap it up today because you know what? We're already over time. Um, but who did you see who, was, who that was? Oh, there it is. It's coming up on the screen right now. Eric Center. Eric, thank you so much. Holy smoke. He says, you guys are great. Started collecting again after 20 years. That's, that's that's crazy. That's like one of the nicest things that people tell I think tell me. Yeah. That they that they that get we have an impact like that. I've never thought like that we'd be that we'd have a channel that would like legit get people back into collecting. I thought we just would compliment what's already out there because we have peeps like Lords of the Lawnbox who's gonna um, be going live here pretty soon, providing such great comic book content. Looking for a really good place to put this where it's not gonna fall. I don't even want to touch that one. Don't touch it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Just don't I even did. touch I it. Touched it once. Oh that's my enough. goodness! And we have the boy who had seven who says, hey, "Wow, guys, that's epic. Thank, thank you for you, showing us the love. That is very kind of you. Thank you so much. Keeping it green. And then what is?" I mean, the boy who had seven, what kind words? And then he's right behind Marvel to DC who just donated 20 bucks. Holy wow. smokes. That is very kind of Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank I, you. I both. can't. That is so nice. All right. Anyways, um, everyone go to Lords of the Lombox. Um, we're going to make sure that that links in the bio. Thank you so much, comic book fam. We'd really do appreciate you. Um, excited to see you guys soon. And we'll see you next week Good or day. Sunday. We'll be, we'll be live on Sunday. I think we'll be live on Sunday. I'm going to go over my comics. Right? It'll be fun. All right. Geek responsibly, peeps. We're not going to end it weird. We're just going to end the show because you guys got a We're show. We're late anyway. That's, there's just another show you guys got to check out. Lord, 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 Lord. Shout out to TiVo. Bye. See you guys very soon. Farewell. Bye. Sleep tight. Geek responsibly. We love you. Enough said. Clay Button. Comic Gallery. Lucifer. Joshua Sanders. Got to do a little bit. Ramiro Ortiz. Just a little bit.